It's really wonderful to be here today at what will be the main entrance to Christ Cathedral. We actually began the construction on the renovation in June of 2017 and we have made great progress since then. I'm very happy to say that we are right on schedule in terms of the construction. Uh, we're doing fine in terms of our budget. So everything is just going so well. The first thing to do in the renovation was really to put up the scaffolding because we're doing all of the work from the ceiling down. And it also will allow us to eventually hang the quatrefoils. The quatrefoils are a unique architectural piece, but also a practical functional piece of our new cathedral. The quatrefoils are like metal sails that will be white, and they will be hanging from the structure, and they'll allow different degrees of sunlight to come in during the day. So they will measure the sunlight. They will also help us to control the temperature. Also, they will help us acoustically, and then all the lights in the cathedral will hang uh, behind the quatrefoils. The predella, another word for that is platform, if you will, and this is the platform upon which the altar will be built. So the concrete for the predella has been formed. It will eventually be clad in stone, and on that will be built the altar, and then the cathedra, the bishop's chair, and from the predella will also be the ambo, which has also started to be poured. So the, the main part of a Catholic cathedral, as you know, is the altar. The choir balcony, as we call it, will be on the north end of the cathedral. So all of the area behind the cathedral, the bishop's chair, will be an area for our choir. So a project in addition to the renovation of the cathedral has been to renovate the pipe organ. The organ will be reinstalled when we complete the renovation of the cathedral. The baptismal font will be on the west end of the cathedral in its own chapel. It will be in the shape of an octagon, which is the traditional shape of a baptismal pool in the ancient churches. And then on the east end of the cathedral will be the Blessed Sacrament Chapel, where the Eucharist will be reserved. That will be a circular structure. And when the cathedral itself is closed, it is designed in such a way that people will still be able to access the Blessed Sacrament Chapel so that they can come and pray. We have planned a number of places where there will be sacred art in our renovated cathedral. Part of the sacred art is what is called the Crux Jamata, which means a, a cross that will have precious stones in it. And then, of course, it will be a crucifix. There'll be uh, the body of Christ on the cross. It will be hanging from a structure called the baldachin, which will be a kind of a square structure hanging from the cathedral. So the crucifix will be suspended over the main altar and give it great prominence. There'll be 14 stations of the cross, again in bronze. They will be at the east end and the west end of the cathedral and they will be taken from the point of view of the face of Jesus and other symbols that represent whatever station it is. Below us is what is called the Undercroft and there is 44,000 square feet down there, the same uh, footprint as the, the worship level. There will be a number of things in the Undercroft. Many of the rooms are already there uh, they've been framed out and there, there's a lot of work done already there. There will also be work sacristies because we need a lot of space to prepare all of the chalices and sacred vessels to store them. Uh, there will also be a, a priest vesting area when we have big celebrations. The bishop will have a sacristy. There also will be a bride's room, a family room, some other functional rooms that will help us to better serve the people. A new elevator is being installed there. Uh, one of the elevators uh, in the undercroft will serve the public so that the public can go to the undercroft and the other elevator will go from the undercroft all the way up to the choir balcony to allow the choir for example on Sunday or whenever they're singing to go right from their rehearsal room up to the choir area. There has been an incredible amount of work done already and there's still a lot left to do and what we hope is that we will finish the completion of this worship space and the undercroft by February of 2019, at which time we will begin to install the Hazelwright pipe organ. Bishop Van has set the date for the dedication as July 17, 2019. And for me, having kind of seen the, this uh, project be born, it's just really something to see it actually. You know, you, you dream about something in your head for a long time and then finally it starts to happen. And, and that is truly happening here at Christ Cathedral.